Hello friends, welcome back. My name is Daniel, I go by the handle Stray Dog Strut on social media and today I'm playing Ooblets, a um, lovely little indie game. It's currently in early access. This is on the Xbox One, but it's also available on the Epic Games Store. Um, I've not played it that much, I think I'm about 30 in-game days in, um, so there's still a lot more to see. But I thought what we'd do just to gently start us off is have a little wander around Badgetown, the starting area. Um, have a look at some of the things that I've found already, um, try out some of the different features. Um, it is in early access, so obviously be a little bit forgiving if we come across any bugs or any missing content, but I will say I think it's one of the most um, feature complete uh, early access games I have played. Um, I've not had any bugs myself, um, so yeah, just really enjoying it and hopefully you will too. Day 31. As I've only played about 31 in game days, so still a lot to do, a lot to see. And here we are, um, I'm outside my farmhouse. <laughs> uh, this is my character Coco. If I open up the grimoire, take a look at my stuff. Um, let's take off some of this clothing. Uh, for Halloween, I got the kitty mask and the hat. This is my character. Uh, Let's change the clothes. There we go. Um, yeah, lots of uh, nice outfits to try on. Um, I will show you um, where we can go buy more outfits. I've got to say, it's one of the favourite things I like about the game. Um, and this is my little little farm with my ooblets. Oh, I'm still carrying the jack-o'-lantern. Let me put that away. Uh, there we go. Oh. But yeah, this is the constant problem I have because I um, fairly uh, early into the game, I haven't got loads of money, I haven't got loads of places to store stuff. Um, this is my little house. Uh, I hopefully have some space. Uh, yeah, space in this dresser maybe. Let's have a look. Uh, not that much stuff. Okay. <laughs> Let's try this chest over here, see if I've got somewhere to offload. Oh man, oh, I've got one slot I can <laughs> put something down. Uh, let's deposit this. There we go. Now I should be able to um, take away that jack-o'-lantern. What? Box are too full. Did I not just... Ah. wonder what I... Is it... No, it must be clothing. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, let's not worry about that. <laughs> um, this is my house. Uh, pretty happy with the wallpaper, I've got to say. Um, it's obviously quite small. You can upgrade your house, so I'm still working towards that. Uh, this is my little stove where I can cook different recipes, like the hop dub. Um, one thing I will say about this game, all the names of things are just really cute puns on things. Uh, like you can see there it takes a, a carrot and muzz flower. I uh, just yeah I love the, the flavor text in this. This is a handy feature at the top. Include nearby chests so I don't have to have everything in my pockets right now um, and it will give me other materials and I can see how are their ingredients rather. I can see what I can make so I can make some bean juice which is basically coffee um, as well and there's other recipes to unlock. Uh, but yeah, they basically tell you all the ingredients you need. These are my ooblets following me around. Uh, these are my follow babies, as they are. Um, I started off with... Um, let me see if it's in the menu. I um, can't remember. Yeah, so Shrumble was my first ooblet uh, because I joined um, the Moss Sprouts, which is one of the clubs uh, in ooblets. Um, and you get a starter ooblet, so... Shrumbo is so cute, of course I went with Shrumbo. Um, and you get other ooblets by doing dance battles. Uh, again, another fantastic thing about this game is the whole leveling up system, or part of it at least, is built around dance battles. Um, so we'll try some of those, should be quite cool. Um, but yeah, I've got a Fleebo, uh, Clicky Claws, Lump Stump, and Dumburb. I was very pleased to get Dumburb, so cute. Um, I think I might have another one. So basically, they follow babies, the ooblets following me right now. Uh, they can join me in dance battles. 
but you can also set them to work on your farm. So I've got these little oob coops, um, and if I assign them there, I think it's within a, a radius of eight tiles, um, they will basically look after some of the things I'm growing. I like how she pops her little head in there. Um, yeah, so there's no ooblet assigned here, so I can pick an ooblet to, to be one of the home babies um, in this particular oob coop, but I'll keep them. Um, because for some of the dance battles, you need a certain number of ooblets. Um, so I'll stick with five for now. Um, you can upgrade it. Um, it looks like I can upgrade to level two already. Um, I'll maybe do that later, because as I say, I'm not quite sure what benefits that gives. I mean, I, I think there is a benefit. Um, but I'll, I'll come back to that one later. Uh, and the other thing you can do, so, so what they'll do is... Um, I think they'll kind of maintain things like this, weeds. Uh, oh yeah, I press the left trigger to turn into farming mode, and then I can pull that weed. Um, that has changed. When the game first launched, you had to hold the trigger in order to go into farming mode, so it's really nice that they listened quite quickly to feedback and made it so that you could just press it on and off. Uh, what's also nice that was there from day one is you don't have to be standing right next to the square you want to deal with. Um, character will just follow wherever you move on the grid and this is within my farm so it only goes up to here um, but all the way back here as well so I've still got quite a lot of space all these weeds <laughs> to clear if I want to dig back there uh, looks like we've got some carrots to um, harvest I know I'm gonna be told that my pockets are full let's um, have a look at our stuff why not we've got some stuff there just seems to be full in the clothing I will figure that out, but never mind. Uh, so, it tells you how many days until it's ready, so it says zero days, so it should be ready. And I can harvest some carrots. And we can use all these veggies for um, recipes, uh, but we can also sell them on. There's like a, um, like a, an orders thing, Plenty's orders, uh, where you can sign up uh, to fill a particular order. Say, it, I think the one I'm actually trying to do is 20 carrots, so that might be enough because I think I dropped off 10 carrots already, but we'll have a look. Or carrots, I should say. Um, and you can get money that way. You can also trade them in um, at Mead Seeds, which we'll see in a minute. It's one of my favourite shops uh, where you can buy your seeds. Uh, task updated. So maybe um, I have um, just enough to uh, Yeah, add to the gift basket. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, got to plop. So that's the one I'm trying to fulfill the order of 20 carrots. So it must be telling me that I'm pretty much there. Um, you also got these things, which to be honest, I haven't really used. Um, but they are different things. So you put something in and it converts the ingredients to something else. I think this one, the Swishler, makes kind of liquid things. But again, you've got to assign a nooblet to it. Whereas this one I've used for flour before. Um, yeah, this is the cruncher, so it crunches things up, so I've used it to make muzz flour. Um, as I say, I haven't really used them. I think the purpose of these is to get convert ingredients into other ingredients to make recipes. Yep, yeah, this is my little farm. Um, so I'm growing my sweetie beeties here. Um, got some clothlets here. Um, these are actually two uh, ooblets. Um, so when you do dance battles, if you win, you get the option to receive a booblet seed. Um, and I'm growing a couple. Um, they'll be ready very soon. Um, you know, quarter of a day, half a day. It'll be no time at all. Um, but yeah, and this is my house. Um, when I'm on the farm and I press L2, I can deal with the farm. But when I'm near my house and I um, press um, X to decorate, if I have paint, I can paint my house. Um, which I think I've already painted it that colour, but I could try it. Oh no, there we go. <laughs> so now we have a, uh, a very cake-like looking house. And the same happens uh, when I'm inside as well. So I can press X to decorate. Um, and yet that's the wallpaper I think I was using and the floorboards. I said I don't have much stuff right now and any furniture. So you start with this old luggage case, literally nothing in it except an old luggage. And I had this camping cot. <laughs> uh, can't remember if I bought the chair, um, but yeah, I ended up not liking it in the end. 
Um, but yes, it's the beginning. We're getting somewhere. So let's go into town. Um, it's a little bit, the, you know, initially it is a kind of little bit like Stardew Valley. You kind of, you move here, you're a new person in town, you get your farm, it's quite run down. Um, oh, this is my water tap. I can fill up my little watering can. And then I can water things. So if they say that they are dry, which uh, these ones look okay. You should tell me if they're dry, but you can water them. Um, you also get these, I've got these like water pistol things. Um, I think you get better ones. The ones I've got only cover, as you can see, in a line. Um, and as I say, I think at a certain level of Oobkoop, it might be level 2 actually, I think the Ooblets will actually water your your, um, your uh, crops too. Uh, this is where you get your mail. Um, I think we started in the middle of a day, so we haven't seen it today, but um, I usually get a piece of mail each morning. Um, from the hanker bot, which was one of the first tasks that I did. I, I helped to uh, fix the hanker bot, and it basically says what people are hankering for, <laughs> so what they, they're kind of wanting that day. Um, and then it gives you a little task to go and, like, you know, give someone a, um, a quip tart or something. It's, it's nice, a nice, fun way to kind of push you to, like, talk to the other um, residents. But let's go into town. Oh, here's the map of the town, uh, just to get an idea if this is Badge Town. So, um, we are down here next to Mead Seeds at the moment. Um, and basically there's a whole bunch of NPCs that you can talk to and do tasks for. It's also showing some ooblets on there. Um, Mayor Tinstall, who we'll meet later, is one of my favourite characters. Um, yeah, lots of characters to talk to, uh, lots of different locations. I think all these um, flashing pink things are all the things to build. I think they're like, yeah, they're the tinsel tasks, so the tasks you get from the mayor. Uh, but most of these are like the different clubhouses for the other groups of, you know, ooblet collectors, I guess. Um, so my club is um, the, it's up in the uh, left hand corner there, it's like a treehouse. It's the uh, moss sprouts run by Outgrid, who's over that way, usually hanging out in the edge of the forest there. Um, but I think this one's like a dance barn that you can open, um, and I think these are also like other other ones, other tasks to do. Uh, this is Mead Seeds. I mentioned it was one of my favourite shops, it just looks so good. Uh, so let's go take a look. Um, so usually what I do when I play uh, is one of the first places I'll come, just to see if there's any new seeds. So we can see there's like Pompidou seeds, um, and we can see how many gummies. So that's like the currency in Badge Town is the gummies. So I, I say I don't have a lot of money right now because I keep gaining it and spending it. Um, but I've got 296 gummies, and this costs 8 gummies uh, for one Pompidou seed. Um, cloth plant seeds, growing some of those. We've got some Zanuka seeds, Muzz seeds, so that they make that Muzz flower that I mentioned. Sweetie Beauty seeds. Um, uh, what's that one? Uh, yeah, they're Sweetie Beauty seeds. What are these? Yeah, the Muzz seeds. Okay. Uh, carrots, Fruity seeds, and Spring Bean seeds. So, I'm not very good at keeping track of what's worth what. I mean, I will say, I think I get quite a good return on Sweetie Beauties and Clothlets. Um, <laughs> this is Mead saying hello. <laughs> um, but you will see this little red sign, and it basically means it's an offer. So, like, Muzz Seeds, for example, is one gummy for a Muzz Seed. Um, I'd say I couldn't tell you how much it is normally, but clearly that's a good deal. So, let's see if we can't buy some of those. Um, there's also this Drizzle Dibbler, or Dribbler. Um, it's basically a bigger watering can. Um, I'm not going to spend 250 gummies on that, but it's there as a kind of buy me, buy me thing. And we can trade with uh, Mead, but we can also Hello. talk to Mead. Hello. <laughs> let's uh, let's talk. Treebies, please. This is because I'm still carrying my jack o' lantern um, because of the Halloween event. You could go around trick or treating, which is lovely. Hello. Happy Halloween! Here's hoping the ghosts of my past don't make an appearance. And then we get some candy. And you could use the candy to buy things like the kitty mask that I had. 
and we can trade as well so we can sell things on um, I'd say smarter people than me keep an eye on the uh, prices of these things and you can kind of sell them back um, I mean the poly flowers 24 each I don't know if she had any on sale at the moment any that was in the shop to get an idea but 24 sounds pretty good I don't think I've yeah look you can buy them for 10 and sell them for 24 I'm gonna do that let's let's shift some of this stuff uh, what do you want to sell to me yeah I can as I say use them for recipes but I haven't to be honest really focused that heavily on that area yet so I'm not too worried uh, let's just sell these that's a quick 240 gummies um, whereas other things like sweetie beaties 11 I don't think that's particularly good price and carrots yeah like seven you know I think the carrots oh got a wishy um so I think you get wishies um, I'm not gonna get this right but I think you get wishies for doing you know for kind of doing different tasks getting certain experience and then what you can do is use them to kind of expand the game um, so I'll try and show you that in a minute um, yeah crits are five sell them for seven so it's probably not the best deal right now um, yeah I think if I remember where you go to get them these are um, up here daily wishes so these are basically yeah sorry so this is what you get the wishes for is there's like daily tasks every day um, different things to do so sell something meats was a task I just hadn't checked it so we've ticked that off already um, if we cook something to eat so if we make a recipe today uh, or cook something for a recipe and upgrade our house that's gonna be hard because I think it costs like I want to say like two or three thousand gummies if not a lot more than that we can have a look um, but if we did all of these today we would get more wishes and then I think it's in the grimoire you have the wishy well where you can basically spend wishes to get other things so like to upgrade our oop cubes to level 3 we could spend 100 wishes but it's worth hanging on to them uh, because as I say there are more uh, ones that are worth a lot more um, so like a bigger farm for example is a thousand wishes I currently have 290 wishes uh, faster run speed I'm not too worried but that's 500 wishes bigger tool belt would be useful so 300 wishes so if we're gonna aim for something maybe that's the next one to go to um, I say we're not gonna get them today because I'm not gonna be able to make my house any bigger to hit that uh, daily task today but there we go um, yeah I hardly ever look at this menu but yeah it's showing my tasks so I'm currently doing some tinstall tasks um, fix up min pins so that's the min pins uh, clubhouse so basically I need to uh, put some stuff in to fix it um, complete that um, Plenty's order for Gotsaplop which is uh, 20 Karoots I say I, I think I've done that already and I'm trying to <laughs> currently trying to bribe the um, council uh, to be nice to us so we keep sending uh, gift baskets so I need to add some more stuff to the gift basket to do that task again um, but let's go and um, finish that order so this is the um, I can't remember what it's called I think it's just plenty of orders um, yeah so I needed to get 20 crits it says it's ready so I can complete that because I say um, I already put in a bunch of carrots last time so I complete it and I get my payment 182 gummies yes please then we can take on another order and you can see the value of them um, so 20 nurnies nurnies you can just find by clearing up some of the rubbish on your farm you find them around the place clothlets you can grow I might do that because I'm already growing some clothlets uh, what do they want 20 yeah so I'll accept that order um, I don't know if they expire they've not really been too strict um, about chasing me for them but maybe I've just fulfilled them quite quickly um, at the moment presumably the level I'm at I can only accept one order at a time um, but I'm sure there'll be a way to kind of increase that I think it actually is uh, probably tied to the wishy system um, but yeah we've got another order there um, let's not talk to Malu I really don't like that character <laughs> just my, oh let's say hello Trebies please 
Are you seriously trick or treating? Lame. So do you have any spare candy? <laughs> See? They're just rude. But they gave us candy instead. Um, I really want to figure out why I haven't managed to put my pockets are too full to remove this. Is it because it's already there? I am. I am it is too full. Um, can I? Yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> I, it's not a bug. I'm sure it's not a bug. I think my pockets are too full, but I thought I could maybe swap it for something. I noticed that though that my watering can's not here because that's kind of a starter item, so I can't really get rid of that. I'm not seeing it here, so I'm wondering. I don't know. There must be another way because, like, if I see, I can change my shoes. I can change the top. I think if I had another handheld thing, I could swap it out for this. But as it stands, probably because there's nowhere for it to go in here, uh, my pockets are literally too full. Um, yeah. Ah, oh, let's wear this dress. I like this one. Cool. Um, yeah, I didn't really notice that last time. I was just too excited to get the, um, the jack-o'-lantern and dress up for Halloween. Um, but yeah, I'll need to somehow figure out if there's a way to drop clothes, because I'm not seeing any options here to drop things. Like, you can drop items. Um, other than that, um, you know, I obviously need more storage, so maybe that's something to, to buy. But yeah, we had a little change. Um, when you first start, one of the first tasks is to clean up. So you'll see a lot of this kind of thing, cans around the place. Um, they keep respawning. You can keep just picking them up. Um, but you can use these, you can recycle these, which is quite good. So it's kind of like, you know, it's a free resource. Um, uh, it's a little bit annoying that it appears all the time. It looks a little bit dirty, <laughs> but it's quick enough to clean up. There's some ooblets. Um, yes, you can pet the ooblets. Ah, uh, they are cute. Um, I wonder if we can do a dance battle. Let's see what they want. Their dance demands one quip tart. See, so you need different resources uh, to dance, but I don't think I have an honey honey yet, so that's maybe a nice easy one to aim for. If we can cook a quip tart, we can um, dance with them. Um, otherwise, we've been to Mead Seeds. Let's uh, take a look in... I don't think this is a thing yet. I am assuming that in the future I will be able to maybe have a shop. That would be cool. We shall see. Uh, otherwise, let's go into Kabon Bon. Um, again, I kind of do them all, or well, most of them. I do Mead Seeds, I do Kabon Bon, um, and I do Manitoui, which is next door. But here we can look at clothes, see what's for sale. Uh, what's this? A black hoodie. I think. I feel like I might have that sweater. Uh, did I just imagine that? No? Now, let's see if I can actually buy it. Because if we're running out of space... <laughs> added to wardrobe... Oh! Uh... See, it is here. Why? Pockets are too full to remove this. Hmm. I honestly do not know. But the fact that that just got added here without me having to carry anything else does make me wonder if. I don't know, maybe clothes are different to like carryable items. Oh, is it? No. I was going to say, I thought I saw that it was in the backpack or something, but no. Okay. Uh, there's like. Glasses as well. I think I've got some pairs of glasses. And yeah, there's like this backpack. Um, but 350 gummies, that's a lot. I mean, maybe we should do that. Let's do that. Let's see if that helps solve our problem. If it doesn't... <laughs> Pockets are too full. Backpacks. Uh, yeah. Hmm. I 
I wonder if it's... But it says it's clothing. I was just wondering if it's maybe an item. So my items are uh, here and stuff. And right enough, they are quite full. Um, let's move some stuff. See if that helps make any difference. But I wouldn't expect it to. No. Is that going to be our first bug? I don't know. As I say, I didn't really think too much about it before. But it does seem like I'm stuck with it. I don't mind at the moment. Uh, the only thing is, it means whenever I talk to someone, I'm always going to ask them about treebies. <laughs> like if we talk to trolls. Trick or treat! Personally, wouldn't eat candy that had been in a stranger's possession, but each to their own. We get more candy. Hmm. I'm a little bit thrown by that, but I don't mind. I'm still enjoying it. What's this? An Argyle sweater. Mm, don't really like that. Um, got some slippers here. Shiny red. Ooh, they're nice. <laughs> Again, I feel like sometimes I've bought some of the stuff, but then would it necessarily also be there if I hadn't? I've got blue ones. Yeah. Not the slippers. Shiny red sneakers, please. Thank you. Dark flats and then just white sneakers, it looks like. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, cozy nog warmer. <laughs> um, okay, thank you. Cool. And uh, let's go into Manitoui. So this is like the furniture shop. Um, it doesn't change that much, but again, with the wishes, I know that you can upgrade it to get more stock, I think. I've done it once already. Um, but yeah, see, I'm not seeing... It's a little bit different, but it's not massively different to what I already have. I think that's what I've already got. Um, there's paint that can go on the outside. Tea carts. Maybe a couch, but I don't have much space. That's the only problem. Um... And these are where you can upgrade the size of your house. So see, yeah, it's, see it's 2,000 um, gummies, so we're a little ways off. And this, um, if you put stuff in this fabric cutter, you can make things. So here you add planklets, so bits of wood that you find. So if all those um, logs that we saw on my farm, if I break these, I get planklets. And if I put them in here, which I can do that now actually, uh, it does its thing and it makes these uh, wooden paths, so I can make wooden paths on my farm. Uh, and there's those sprinklers. Uh, let's buy another sprinkler actually because it kind of annoys me that I have that one <laughs> patch that's not covered on the left hand side. Um, and yeah, some other bits to like upgrade oop coops and buy um, different bits and pieces. Um, don't know that this computer's for anything yet, but... Oh, do you know what it'll be? Yeah, so one of the tasks is to open the um, OopNet tower which is kind of like getting back on the internet um, I've done it I didn't expect to be able to do it but I managed to do it last time uh, but it turns out I need to do it in several locations so I'm assuming once the internet or the OopNet is live again we can maybe do some stuff on this computer we shall see uh, let's say hello to Sprint happy Halloween Halloween is a family-friendly holiday where you're definitely not supposed to throw sea dangler bait at Basil's house. <laughs> Candy. This is all the Halloween stuff. So this is where you can spend all your candies. So as I got the kitty mask, I got the um, glanter hat. Uh, there's a little ghost mask. Let's have a look, see how much that is. Ten candy. Yeah, why not? Little baby ghost mask, and there's the uh, jack lantern. Um, Halloween candy pail. Yeah, so it was free when you picked up the um, jack o' lantern to carry the candy. That's Pote. He's always selling his uh, treats anyway. Bumblebee buns make for a delicious and healthy Halloween snack. And there, around the back, is Mayor Tinstall. She's always dancing, which is so cool. Hello, let's go say hello. 
happiest of Halloween is Comino Candy. Now can we talk to you? And whenever you talk to, um, not all the NPCs, but most of them, um, you get this little progress meter, and it's like leveling up your friendship. Um, so when you reach the end of that bar, they usually give you like a sticker and things. Um, it's cool. Uh, without quests, I feel like life would have little meaning. <laughs> um, since we're here, this is Tinstall's, uh, well, it's the town hall where Tinstall's office is, although she's hardly ever in there. <laughs> um, but what is here, and I've just spied something on the floor there, Four recipe pieces. So yeah, so when you find four recipe pieces, you can assemble them uh, to make, um, you know, whatever that recipe might be. So it's prompting me here to assemble. Uh, is it this one? Yeah. Espressi. So like an espresso. And an energy boost for a sophisticated Ubin contains 60 energy and increases run speed by 40%. Yeah, things like you can drink the. Um, Beans, uh, bean juice, the like coffee to like lift your energy levels because um, you might not have noticed but in the top right hand corner there um, I think it's the top bar is it the top bar that's like energy um, as you get more and more tired you will eventually just fall asleep <laughs> uh, but you can kind of fight that off with, with the uh, bean juice um, you get figurines um, I noticed I must have got one because I've got a common deuce bug figurine so I just need to put this in. Uh, add a figurine. Yep. Again, I'm not sure like what happens if you get like all the ones in a case or all the figurines, um, but it's a nice way of kind of um, collecting them. Um, I I want to say that you get the figurines uh, by taking them to Renolia and scanning them. I'll show you that in a minute. We'll go to the, the Lernery, as it's called. Um, but yeah, I can't quite remember because it's been a little while. I must have got that figurine quite a while ago. Um, but yeah, these are all the figurines. Um, as I say, this is Tinstall's office, technically. Um, we can go in, but she's usually never there. Um, but it's helpful to run around. You can literally go in people's houses and things because you'll find items and things on the floor, uh, things that you can look at, take, um, and they're all things you can you can kind of sell on and use. Uh, there's nothing in here today, but it's worth having a look. I think this one is locked. Yeah. Um, and Zuffel, I want to say, yeah, this is the policeman's office. So yes, it, like, it says look. Uh, let me take a look. Oh. Oh, it's not letting me. Maybe I've already been there. Yeah, it is looking. You can see it's pushing the papers back. But there's nothing there. But you, I've obviously looked in there recently. And there. As I say, we must have started in the middle of a day. I must have just quit. Usually I go to bed at least. <laughs> uh, yeah, I am a little disconcerted that there is a prison right in the middle of a lovely little town. Um, but it is what it is. Um, yep, yeah, lots more people to find. These are the Tinstall tasks. Um, so these are all the ones I can do, any of the ones that are available to me. So help build the Mimpin's clubhouse, I'm trying to do. Uh, send another gift basket. Reopen the dance barn. Um, as I say, I think that, like, there's dance battles anyway, but I'm assuming the dance barn is kind of a way possibly like more competition based I'm not I'm not really not sure um, fix gimbals balloon I do want to do I've put it off for a little while that will basically open up other areas so I believe there are two other areas available at the moment uh, Mamunia I think it is um, and the new nowhere area um, but I have not done it so we're, we're kind of stuck in badge time right now um, but it's nice here anyway and yet yeah, open some clubhouses and then some other ones here, like Reopen the Wildlands. Um, I don't think it's available yet anyway. I think that's still under development. As I say, this is um, basically made by a two-person team. Um, very early access. They've just had a baby. Uh, so I'm not expecting um, massively new big areas of content. But 
I have not been through half the stuff that's here already, so I've got plenty of time. Yeah, these are the ones I've completed. So let's go. It's getting dark now. Some more rublets. That's Arvin, he's the one always standing there, but never actually clearing up the cans. The cans are right here. There you go. And Pedrick, he owns like the hair salon, I think. Gonna have a lot of work to do after Halloween, undying everyone's Halloween hairs. <laughs> Say hello. Oh, we leveled up our friendship. I sort of miss having access to the Oopnet because I could pretend I was normal on it. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, I wanted you to have a friendship sticker to show my appreciation to you. I've also got some new hairstyles that I can do for you. So yeah, we leveled up that friendship. So we got a friendship sticker. Hey, we got a bow tie. Cool. And some mud seat. Um, and you can see all the friends here. Um, Ara's my favourite, uh, next to Tinstall of course, um, but yeah we haven't seen all of these but they're all around, uh, Outgrid runs the Moss Sprouts Club that I'm a member of, Renolia, yeah that's the one that um, works in the Learnery, we'll get there soon, um, and Ara helps, out. Ara helps out there so they're often both there together, um, yeah there's Mayor Tinstall. Um, there was a hanker there uh, on Renolia. Yeah, so if we'd started in the morning, my mail would have told me a message from the hanker bot saying that Renolia wants a bunglebee bun. So that's quite a simple one. If we go and talk to uh, Chappy, wherever he's gone, he walks around. So we might not catch him before the end of the day. Oh, there he is. Come back. Come back. Oh, that's his name. Uh, give me a bungle bun. Thank you. And let's go and try. It might be a bit late now, uh, but let's see if we can catch Runolia. Give them this bungle bun. This is the Learnery. Still open. Hello. Oh, trick or treat. How do you? Yeah. It turns out that faster than light travel isn't all that useful when you don't have anywhere particular to be. Oof! <laughs> I feel a bit cold out right now. <laughs> also, with 38% chance of it turning you into an evil mustachioed version of yourself, it's probably not worth it. I'll be submitting my full findings in the major science journals. Um, let's try... I think I need to get into my stuff. Let's put it there, and then give. I see the hanker system is working as intended, and to my benefit, thanks. So she was hankering after a bunglebee bun, now she's happy. Oh, it says Videon, yeah, he's in here too, he runs on the other clubs, like the kind of sciencey club. This holiday is quite unusual, but I think I understand its merits. Are all open holidays about ghost monsters and candy? Yeah, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna hear this candy going on for a while until I can figure out how to put down my <laughs> my um trick my uh chuckle lantern. Uh, what's Frodo Cron Eight like? This is apparently where he's from. Likely beyond comprehension for a mere open. Okay, less dancing for one thing. Um, yeah, this is the hanger bot that we helped to fix. And this is where you can scan your ooblets. I don't know, I might have scanned them all. Let's have a look. Uh, nope, clearly we don't. But I think you scan them and I think that's where I got the figurines from. Um, so when you when you get new ooblets you can scan them there. Um, it's getting a bit late, so let's go to bed, because if you don't go to bed, <laughs> It does very gently nag you and tell you that you should be in bed. Um, but if you don't, you wake up in the morning, you're very groggy. Um, so let's go all the way back to our bed. 
do do oh yeah uh, I want to come back I think it was a quip tart let's see if we can if we don't have we can get the ingredients to make a quip tart and then try and do like a dance battle sleep sleep till morning and then you get the kind of daily progress update um, as to what you did that day quite a lot of stuff actually we were very close to leveling up there we did quite a lot um, and these ooblets they're not ones we had but they're ones that we um, uh, that have been seen in town today. Here we go, and it's a nice sunny day, it looks like. Yeah, let's see. Can we make a quip tart? So, Fribtos equip. Uh, I can't remember what they come from, <laughs> is all I'll say. Um, but we can try and figure it out. There we go. We've got some mail. Today's hanker analysis has been completed. Here are the results. Sprint has a hanker for C-plop. Uh, so that again, fairly straightforward one. You can usually find C-plop uh, by the sea. I think, yeah. Some of the NPCs, like uh, this one, uh, aside, I think if they're not one that you can be friends with, they just say they don't have the treebies. Uh, but also, you usually get like a stock phrase out of them, and that's about it. Um, I spy another one up there. Let's go say hello to Taffy. Trick or treat. Can be for Taffy. <laughs> friends? Yeah, we're friends. Um, we looked in Kibonbon, we bought our clothes. We looked in Manitoui, what's the furniture? Let's go to um, Cuddle Cups, the coffee house. See what I mean? Get on it, Arvin. Got all these cans and you're not really doing much with them. Come on. Hey, double. I want to buy a spooky bean juice. It's a lot like a normal bean juice, but I call it spooky. We say hello. I find that running a cafe is more like running a daycare center than anything else. A daycare center where the kids all have bean juice for breath. <laughs> uh, she runs the Cuddle Cups Cafe. Oh, she's literally standing outside. They open in six seconds. Wow, come on. <laughs> I've never actually seen them open before. Oh, there we go. I, now, I find if I just run right in the door, it doesn't. I don't like. I don't go anywhere. <laughs> Um, but now that the door is closed again, I can open it and go in. Um, this is the coffee shop. How nice is this? Like, I don't know. I'd love to just sit on the sofa here, drink some coffee. So we can buy coffee, but we can also, you know, grow our own. Uh, but we can trade as well, if we have anything. Um, so we can actually sell coffee back to them. Uh, but we can sell the hot dog. Um, we might as well sell that on um, and oh got a wishy did we I think we just got a wishy for yeah sell something to double again I do all these things by chance didn't even realize that that was something I need to do uh, what else can we do today plant a lapola flower um, catch 10 things with the sea dangler we can certainly try and have a go at that um, but yeah, I can come around here to talk to Double if I need to. It's a little bit... I find it a little bit awkward in here, like the trading till is right back here. Um, and there's so many things on the counter, but... Again, you know, I don't tend to buy these things. I haven't really needed to use um, caffeine to keep myself going. It's a very forgiving game. I, I, say I, just, I literally just enjoy hanging out, growing some veggies, uh, wandering around talking to people. Uh, pet. Don't have any candy. Yeah, so she's another one that's like, kind of a, not an NPC you can be friends with, but just a stock, stock phrases. Basil is one you can be friends with. Um, looks like there's something here. Yeah, recipe piece. 
So whenever you see that kind of something glowing like that, you can look behind it. Happy Halloween! Since when does trick-or-treating involve walking up to someone to get candy? I can't very well turn the lights off and pretend to not be at home in this situation. <laughs> That's what my in-laws do. <laughs> These candy handouts are bad for the economy. But you still gave me one anyway. Let me get this straight. You've got no farming experience and have no investors. Nope. If I had to bet 10 gummies for or against your farm succeeding, I'd definitely bet against you. Basil's a bit salty. Uh, not trying to discourage you though. <laughs> this is the reconstitute or reconstitutor. Um, it's basically where you can put in your junk like cans and things. Uh, what did I do with them? There they are. And it will crunch them up. It's full right now. But what you get is bait, and then you can use that for fishing. So again, that's what I mean. It's free bait, so it's good. Um, we have. I just noticed it. Uh, a sea plop. Who was it that wanted a sea plop? I think it was Sprin in Manitoui. So let's go and do that. Um, Sure, what cause like we're just fighting this week. Uh, I like chatting with you. Have a friendship sticker and check your house inventory for a little gifty from me. Ah, oh, thank you. A sprinkle top. I don't know what that is. Oh, and a plank, though. Great. <laughs> Some wood. <laughs> thank you. Uh, do I need to have it selected? There we go. Give. Nice. Thank you. Cool. It's ticked off. I know I've forgotten about you. Um, yep, yeah, so we'll get some. Uh, we get some bait from this thing. Uh, or rather, we can make bait from it. From So it makes the slurry and then you can make that into bait. So now that we have some bait, let's go and do some sea dangling. And then choose a bait. And then we cast. And this is like a yeah, speedy grow. So it basically helps your crops grow. So you notice that um, on my farm everything said like a day and a half, a day. If you're trying to time things right, it can be really useful to have this to um, help you know that you um, can you know grow things a bit quicker. Um, the arrow is pointing at the grow bag in my hand, but it looks like it's pointing at the um, hair salon in the background there. A bit confusing. Uh, cool, let's go again. I can't remember, what was it like? Fish out like 10 things or 20 things? We might need a lot more bait. Um, we got a gummy. Cool. And something called a pop top. I think this might be my last bait at the moment. Another one. There we go. Cool. Uh, yeah. So, so we could do that six more times. Um, I'll make some more bait, but um, not in any hurry. I can talk to Narnia. Turner, sorry. Cool. The good thing about the constitutor is you can just leave it running, which is good. Um, I can't remember. I don't know if they sell. Bean juice, espressi, 
Sometimes they do, I think. Uh, I want to just buy a Quipped Art because I cannot remember how you make a Quipped Art. Um, oh, we needed um, fruit Fructose, I think it was. But yeah, I'm not sure off the top of my head where that comes from. Um, this is Snaps, the kind of hair salon. I never come in here. I was quite happy with the, my hair. <laughs> um, but Patrick runs this one. Um, yeah, you can like choose different hairstyles if you want to. options. Uh, you know, maybe it is time for a change. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure actually. I don't know, I quite like the, the kind of, I don't know what you call them, um, <laughs> kind of buns on the side of my head. Uh, let's go. This one looked quite cool down the bottom here. <laughs> Doing sad. Uh, how much is that? Yeah, let's let's try a new hairstyle there. I don't know if you can change them like on the fly once you purchase them, but there you go. <laughs> cool. Uh, you can change facial hair as well, so you get like little mustaches. I notice it doesn't match <laughs> the color. <laughs> <laughs> um, beard. Yeah, I think we're okay. And then, yeah, so you can change the color of your hair. Um, but I quite like the color that we are. But oh, oh that one's nice. Goodness. All right, got to change that because that is nice. <laughs> I like how it's like. Let's just spray some cream whip or something on your head. <laughs> there we go. Cool. Uh, so we've been pretty much all around the town square kind of. Um, there's a couple of areas, like I, I assume this is going to lead somewhere in the future. Um, yeah, this is the seafront, you can kind of walk down there on sand. Um, excuse me, Pote. You can do the same down the side. Oh, those are good. Uh, get down there. Uh, curly horn. They're worth quite a bit, so I like to just pick them up whenever I find them. That was a C plot. Not too worried, but yeah, a few things here. How about you guys? What would it take to dance with you? One quip tart. To figure out how to do that. Oh, what's this? Astro Club. Okay. Uh, so yeah, it's the main town square. We can go up here. Um, we already went to Lernery, but this house is Ara's house. Um, oh no. Hey, let's just uh, give Ara something. See what she says. <laughs> Appreciate the thought, but I don't really need that right now. <laughs> Today looks like a beautiful day to try to summon some enchanted orc demons. I've not been successful so far, but I think I just need the right weather. <laughs> I love that she lives in like a really gothic spooky house. And so you can just go in people's houses, even if they're not there. Um, just have one around. Look at all this. This is cool. And there's something shiny over here. So let's have a look. Potion of recalling the name of that guy from that movie about that thing. <laughs> It's Ara's printy press, so this is where all the friendship stickers get printed from. It's one of the first things I, I fixed. But yeah, she's got a really cool house. And this up here is my clubhouse, Moss Sprout's clubhouse. Hello! You can see all the things in the clubhouse as a beanie. Oh, let's buy a beanie. Oh, what? Oh, yeah, because it's tokens. So I think for doing tasks for the club, then you get um, tokens that you can spend. So I've actually only got 15. There's a whole list here um, of basically jobs, things to do. Most routes to doosies. Um, 
bring a six cloth that's to patch a hole in our roof. Um, I'm not going to accept that right now because I'm currently trying to fulfill that cloth that's order. Um, what is this? Fair and turn. Discard a random card, gain one. Be oh, so this is for the dances. Um, is it just one token? I guess. Uh, yeah. Shall we buy some of those? Cool. Let me see if I... Can I figure out how to cook stuff? <laughs> Would be good. Uh, so I want to make... Where am I? Crypto. Made from fructose. Where is the fructose? Uh... Crops. Clawflet. Um, Pretty flower. Contains energy. Pompadout. Fripto. Ah, so we go. So it's sweetie beaties. Okay, well, we sold a whole bunch, didn't we? Okay, so we need to grow some of those. Um, and the other thing was a quib. Now, it's a nuka. Ah, uh, I can't remember. Most flower. Used to create fructose. Used to create carrot cake. Uh, I don't know. I feel like I feel like it's the must flower, but it doesn't say that. So yeah, quip tart. Quip. Oh, this is something I collect. I can't remember. Um, okay, I will try. We'll, we'll see if we can make some sweetie beaties. Hey, Dark Red. Common old candy is the best candy. Just make sure not to leave any candy wrappers on the ground. My philosophy is to try to do good while doing the least amount of harm, but also eat a lot of tree bees. Good philosophy. Um, round here is where. Um, the gimbal's balloon is. I say I haven't attempted this, so when you see these, this is a tinstall task. Um, yeah, so it tells you what the task is, um, and I say that will then help me go to other places. Um, let's let's do that later. So let's go and see other if we can. Um, some stuff. Uh, yeah, so we got some sweetie beaties. Okay. And then so. Oh, I need to put them in the cruncher, I think. And I'm probably going to need to assign an ooblet to do that. So, choose an ooblet. In you go, Shumbo. Uh, choose an ingredient. So, some of those. Don't know how many, but let's add those. And then it will... Um, crunch away. Uh, I think it's doing its thing. I don't think we need to... Yeah, the little dial there. So let him do its thing. I can't remember if this one... Nothing to go on. I think this is the one that just makes like juice sort of stuff, like liquid stuff. I really cannot remember where a quib comes from. I, I'm tempted to suggest it might be something you pick up. So 
I'm going to quickly go down to the seaside and see um, if it's something we can just find lying around. If it's not, I will figure out soon uh, how we do that. I mean, we might be able to do another dance battle. Uh, what about you guys? Okay, so we can dance with these guys. I don't. I have a lump stump already, but if I can't uh, figure out how to make a quip tart, let's just dance with them, um, just so that we can see what it looks like. Yeah. I said no. I need to pay more attention to like the recipe side of things because I haven't really used it that much. I've just been picking stuff up and getting gifts, and <laughs> just using them that way. Um, yeah, let's not worry. Let's um, do a dance for the sake of doing a dance with those ones. Um, unless we could dance with any others. What about you? One oodles. Uh, again, that's a recipe we can make, but I can't remember. I thought I had unlocked oodles. Maybe I haven't. Okay. Well, let's just dance with you guys. So, four planklets. Oh, I don't. <sighs> yeah, okay. I don't have Shrumble with me. I like to dance with Shrumble. But Shrumble's level two already. Um, so, let's level up some other people. Uh, challenges to dance battle. So, purely going by how many are there, I think it means that we need all four. Um, but you can choose who you want to bring in. These are all level two. And so, basically, what it is is um, you get cards each turn. It's a turn based dance. Um, on the left hand side, you can see um, my. Uh, well, you can see my kind of points, uh, and on the, on the right hand side you can see their points. Um, each card uh, costs beats to play, so you can see on the left I have five beats. Um, and for each card you play, it has a certain effect. Um, so you earn certain points for playing certain cards. So like Flip Floss, for example, this one we're going to get seven cards straight away. Um, this was that card I bought from the Moss Sprouts Clubhouse. Uh, discard a random card, gain one beat. I'll maybe leave that until we have some bad cards, because what the opponent can do is sometimes play cards that just fill up your hand and can't be played. Um, so yeah, let's just get on the scoring board, um, spend 3 beats uh, to earn 7 points. Uh, so you press it once, and then you press it again to confirm. Probably going to lose my <laughs> first dance battle here. Um, gain a beat, so this one's practically free, it doesn't cost anything, so... Um, Let's, yeah, let's add a beat. It just means that we've got the more beats you have, the more um, you know beats you can use to spend on cards. Um, and these are about the same, 1.1 1 .1 points. So let's just spend to gain another beat. We can always hang on to it, um, and we can just end turn. I mean, yeah, add a useless card to their deck. Why not? We might as well. So now it's uh, their turn, I think. Oh, sorry, I need to end turn, so why? There we go. Their turn now. Uh, so, yeah, they played one that said add three useless cards, so we should have probably held on to that one about discarding cards, because it looks like they might have tried to give us useless cards, although I don't see them here. Uh, we can stun them. For one point. Let's go for that. So it means that that Ooblet can uh, perform a turn. Um, yeah, let's add a move. Always good to get another card. Take a tap tap. Let's hang on to that. I, I don't know if they. We'll find out in a minute. I can't remember if they like hold over between uh, turns, but if they do, like they've only got one point. There's no point playing that right now. 
Um, let's gain a beat though. And yeah, why not get a couple of points while we're at it. And I'll end my turn there. Their turns. So we can see at the top they've got four beats. So they're spending one uh, there, and they're spending three there. Uh, sorry, so they had five beats. They spent one, they spent three. Uh, I'm going to steal some points. And then I really want to get some more points, but let's just play this one. Give them a useless card. Uh, and this one as well. Still. End my turn there. Earn one points. And three useless cards. Add a fluster as well. Yeah, see, so these are like the trepidation cards, so I can't do anything with those. So it's just using up space in my deck. Uh, to be honest, we've only got five points. We're not going to get much from these. Although, actually, let me spend this one because hype. Gain one hype. It means that you get um, more points from other moves. Um, but what I might do. So now we can earn two points from that. Yeah, let's play that because then the only cards we've got left are these useless ones. So let's just discard a random card and gain a beat. That uh, is going to be quite a handy card actually. And now uh, we can't do anything with that one, so let's end that turn. Add uh, three trepidation cards. I think they must cancel each other out slightly because I didn't get three trepidation cards that time. Um, so let me add a useless card to your deck by return. Uh, Gavot Trot, yes, I'm going to do that. Earn four points. And I'm out of points to do those ones, so let's just end the turn there. This is taking actually a long time. Usually dance battles I've had have been a lot shorter than this. The cards clearly are just not falling for me very well today. Um, hopping mad, yeah, gain one hype. Let's go for that. There we go, it's clicky close, hopping up and down. Uh, gain another hype. Uh, how many is this? Three. Mm. Let's steal points, I guess, right now. to our target. They're in three points. I mean, they're, they're not doing very well. They're slowly catching up. Stun the target for one turn. Okay. So I've got all these cards I can take them with. Um, yeah, so he is stunned. It's a clicky clause, so I can't use it. Um, yeah, I'm just going to stun you back. Um, and yeah. It's only three points, but why not? Earn some hype so they'll get more points for their uh, moves. And a fluster as well. So we've got five beats. Um, uh, gain a beat, yeah, these ones are good because it doesn't cost me anything, so I might as well. Um, it's probably not so helpful here because I haven't really got much to spend it on, but I can always hold on to it. Uh, and yeah, I'm going to just do discard a random card. It might be that stun card, but who knows. No, it wasn't, so why not spend this one? And it there. So I've still got six beats, so carry them to the next uh, dance, which is good. See, now they're trying to catch up. Six points. Okay. Let's gain some hype. Yeah. And then... So actually, uh, one thing I've remembered now, so it's been a while since I've seen it, because we've had so many rounds, it's saying it's up there as the final round, so I think that whoever's in front at the end of this will win regardless of getting to 35 points. Um, We've got three points, let's just steal three points from them. And hopefully we've done enough. Can I 
do much with those ones. It's a stunning target. Yeah, I think we're okay. Oh, are we? <laughs> yeah, we're okay. You win. Cool. Give a little dance. The key claws are an 80 XP. Legal earned 80 XP. Lump stump earned 80 XP. Dumburb earned 80 XP. Ah, oh, so nobody leveled up. Um, we might as well get a seed. So I'll just show you what it's like. You, they offer a seed. And then almost looks like they poop out a little seed. <laughs> but they get told, good job, little lump stump. You did great. So the loser basically gives you a seed. And there's the little seed. So now we can grow a lump stump, for example, um, if we want to. So, cool. Let's go and uh, check on the um, ooblets that I was growing. Some rocks in the way. Oh yeah. And I bought this. Um, There we go. Oh, I didn't look after these very well. <laughs> they wilted. Oh dear. Okay. Uh, I don't think I can do much about those. Um, apart from... Dig them over. Yeah, because it's pretty dead. I like how they break the rocks and just smash them. <laughs> oh man, all my crops are wilted. I don't think... I can't pick that up, can I? No. So I'm gonna have to... get rid of it. Oh! Uh, yeah, that was done too. Cool. Some weeds here. Man, the weeds are taking over. Everything's dying. I haven't been paying attention. <laughs> Everything's dying off. Oh, but our um, ooblets are ready. Oh, no. Can I get Clumper? Yes. Thought it will be. Yep, so we got another ooblet. It's Clumper. Clumper's aggressive name belies their gentle and some might say simple nature. Taxonomically related to lump stumps, insofar as they both have little leaves on their heads. <laughs> Know it. Cool. And then we've got another lump stump. Oh yeah, this is a, so this is a gleamy. Um, so there are like rare ooblets uh, known as gleamies. Um, I won this in a dance battle. It's my first gleamy. Um, but you also get them when there's what they call rainbow rain. It literally looks like the rain is multicolored. Um, they can appear. Uh, a woodsy ooblet found in the forest around Badge Town. Scientists are divided on classifying lump stumps, head branches as ears or horns. So that's cool. And yeah, you know it's a gleamy because it has that kind of trail behind it. Um, I don't know if, like, is there anything special beyond that it's just a rare ooblet? Um, but it's cool. Still making that fructose. Um, and yeah, I still need to figure out uh, what am I supposed to do to get to quips. Um, but yeah, I think I will call it there today. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this little wander around my farm. Um, I'll try to have a better idea of what I'm doing uh, next time. As I say, it's, it's the kind of game that you can just dip in and out of, which is why I find it really satisfying just to chill out with. Um, didn't quite tick off all the tasks today, but um, yeah, we did lots of things. So until next time, see you later, friends.